Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Libras. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Today is November the 8th. But this reading is going to be for, since we're doing numerology series, we are doing 11, 7, and 11, 8 for this particular reading. Okay. So we know that 11 is a gateway number, it's a portal. The universe is trying to get messages through to you. That's in short, right? Because we're not going to take too long to get into before we get into your reading. But that's a, it's a portal. That is a portal number. It's trying to get the universe and the Most High God is trying to get messages through to you. So I hope you all are paying attention. I hope you all are listening. The number seven, if your life path number is seven, or if you just want to step into the vibration of seven, because every number carries its own special vibration, right? So the number seven, um, this this number really, people who are number sevens have a lightning bolt insult. I mean, in insight, meaning that their intuition comes to them like really, really quickly. I mean, information comes to their intuition very, very quickly. Um, they just get all these intuitive downloads just kind of like out of the blue. They are people who can bridge anything, making connections between ideas and subjects that really seemingly have no, um, no things, nothing in common. Like they're able to bring evil and good together, light and dark good and bad whatever it is they can bring they can connect anything so whereas other people may be struggling to kind of sort of make the connection and it makes sense out of something they come through with just like logic like they just come through and it just seems logical to it seems logical to the hearer to the listener um also they are really change agents you know they experience sudden profound shifts in their lives that can um that really catches them by surprise um, they are people who you never, you ever heard the term lucky seven. That's kind of where it came from. Just like things just happen. Just, 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 just happen. <laughs> and they're like, wow. Okay. But in a good way, right? Um, number seven is the presence is often, um, soothing and very, very healing. People who come into your life, it's just kind of like soothing and healing. Cause they just, things come to them really quickly. And so they're able to, uh, make sense of these intuitive downloads that's coming to them. Now that's number seven. Number eights are that vibration. The number eights vibration um, is a vibration of leadership, strength, abundance, financial security, power. It also reps the, represents the energy um, exchange of money. Um, eight is also aligned with business. Eights are meant to lead in some capacity, right? So whether you're a leader in, in the workplace or, you know, leading team efforts at home or whatever, but eights are leaders. So again, even if it's not your life path number, it could, you be your, it could be your birth number. It could be any number in your chart, but you can also step into that vibration. Let's get into your reading, Libras. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Libras as it relates to all areas of their lives. Um, specifically in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of creativity and emotions, and also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Libras? Yes, Libras are very romantic people. At their highest vibration, they're very romantic. They're very charming. They're great listeners very diplomatic um very gracious a lot of times very social especially when you you feel comfortable in an environment libras you all are very social people i know i had some libras come onto my channel and say i'm not very social <laughs> which is kind of funny yeah um yeah look at this okay all right so we have freedom from fear no more fear whatever you were in fear of before you have a lot of major arcanas pop out um <clears throat> whatever whatever you were in fear of before no longer that right matter of fact a lot of you all are just feeling free feeling free new beginnings you hit the reset button and the things are going very very well for you this is the full and upright let's just make sure we get these here also and it came to you really really quickly i wouldn't be surprised if some of you all are number sevens if your life path number is a number seven i really wouldn't be surprised at all you know, because things just come to you very, very quickly. And this is what the tower moment is. Just abruptly and quickly, information just downloaded. But you're just like, wow, okay, now that makes sense. It all makes sense now. A lot of you all have tapped into your divine feminine energy. This is the, um, attached to the cancer. Um, and the cancer sun signs are by default divine feminine energy. And so a lot of you all have tapped into that. 
right? You all have... Now, by default, Libras, you are divine masculine energy. Your sun sign is a Libra, divine masculine energy. So you all have tapped into um, this part of you all where you don't have to respond to everything. Like, you just know when to speak, when not to speak. Like, sometimes it's just a matter of just you know, showing your strength through inner reserve. Sometimes you don't have to respond to every little thing. And, and you know that you have gifts to give the world, right? Yes. Yeah, so things are kind of really like balanced out for you. And this all has happened, it progressed pretty quickly. Once you tapped into your divine feminine energy and all of a sudden things just clicked for you, you're like, okay, now I know how this works. Now I know exactly how to balance things out. Now, by default, your... Your... Um, your symbol are the scales, right? So, but for some people, especially depending on what your environment has been growing up or like certain types of people that you're around, it's kind of hard to balance those things out. But once you found how to balance those things out, your life just took off like a rocket, just, just, just quickly. There were some things in your past that you were just kind of over. Um, that really gave you a lot of stress and headache like this. I want you to see this, like gave you a lot of stress and headache. But you're free now. This was in the past. This is who you used to be. You just felt like, you know, you were in a lot of stress. But that's who you used to be, not anymore. It's like now your life feels whole, like really, really balanced out because you learn how to tap into your divine feminine side of you, right? So emotionally, you feel balanced out. And guess what did it? This, meditating. Meditating helps you to balance everything out of your life, like really, really step into your full Libra, like really step into it. And this is how you feel now. You're celebrating. You're just in good spirits with your friends, your family, <clears throat> people who matter to you the most, people that you love the most. This is the four of wands, by the way. People who feel like home to you. And the home could mean uh, blood relatives. Home could mean the tribe that you created for yourself. But nevertheless, you're feeling great about life. You gave it a long, because, you know, some people were about to get some notices that they were going, they were just canceled from you because you had given some relationships a long, hard thought. And you decided, you know what, let me balance this thing out. Instead of me getting frustrated over this, let me balance it out and tap into my divine feminine energy and look, here you are, right? That's who you used to be, somebody who was just kind of over it. But I can tell you, this meditation was the key to balancing your life out. And this is, you, you're the magician now. Look, now, funny that this um, this card is attached to Mercury, the planet Mercury, the magician card is attached to Mercury. And so Mercury is now stationed direct, but it was retrograde. That's Gemini's and Virgo's planet, right? So for some of you all, I'm telling you, you all have had to either end some relationships. Um, some of you have rekindled some old relationships, and I'm not talking about just love relationships, not love, not just love romantic relationships. Rekindle some old friendships, possibly, um, or the relationship as it was before that caused you to be in rumination mode, like this, like kind of over it, has ended and so you all set some new terms to your relationship you understand how that how that works libra yeah so you all have set some new terms to your relationship and what that looks like it looks different for everybody for so for some people what that looks like is that the relationship was just over i'm just over it i'm focused on me right now i'm just and for some people it really really just looks like you know what we're going to have to hit the reset button we're going to have to, especially for people who have this, like family, in order to make the family harmonious, something had to change within a relationship. So the old relationship had to die so that a new relationship could be reborn, okay? Because um, not everybody decided, you know what, I'm going to end my family situation. Some people have decided, listen, we need to, we need to have a sit-down conversation and decide how we're going to restructure this because the way it's currently working doesn't work for me, right? And so... The number seven, here's a positive affirmation for the number seven. I am truth, I am truth embodied, right? That's the number seven. Um, my soul is my true home, right? This is you nurturing yourself, saying, listen, I had to come to this lightning bolt revelation. See this in the, um, I want to put this up for you. See that lightning bolt, right? I had to come to a lightning bolt revelation that I need to choose me first. I need to put me first. Um... Because that's the only way people around you are going to get the best of you is to choose when you choose you first, Libra. I need to balance this energies out. I need to balance my energies out. 
Um, and I live to share the light of wisdom, right? So you all are naturally like, like I said, very diplomatic um, people, you know, great listeners. You're very fair minded. You just want to be fair to everybody. But sometimes people can weigh heavily on that Libras. And, and so you have to balance some things out by saying, hold on. I'm not going to let you suck the life out of me. I'm not going to let you be an energy va vampire. I'm going to make sure I take care of me first. Um, number eight carries the vibration of leadership, strength, abundance, financial security, and power. Number eights represent the energy exchange of money. Number eight is also aligned with business. Or oh, Number eight also meant to lead in some capacity, right? So you all had to balance that energy out. And some things just had to... You know, you all had to renegotiate your contract with that person, right? And so um, a, a positive affirmation for number eight is, I am enriched by helping to enrich others. That's what I have for you, Libras. I hope you all are having a great day. I know that you are. Bye.